Friday! Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Georgia and I am back. It is Friday. This means Georgia must be posting a new video on her YouTube channel. Hey! Obviously, I have lost the plot. I am now talking about myself in the third person, but today I'm going to show you how to wear your hair 10 different ways with a beret. Yes, I'm attempting another hair tutorial. Don't hate me. If you love all things vintage and pinup and are wondering where to begin, or you're just here for the chit chat, well, my friends, this is a channel for you. I would highly recommend that you hit that subscription button, turn your notifications on, so you never miss another video. Beret season is here, friends. I am a massive fan of berets, obviously. As you can see, I have a selection of colourful berets. Did you expect anything different? <laughs> now these are perfect for when your hair is a little bit greasy or you just want to add something extra to your outfit. I mean, let's be honest, they're probably best for when your hair is manky and it just needs a wash. Now the looks that you were about to see have obviously been pre-filmed so in a moment, I'm just not going to look like this. I'm going to have my natural bird's nest hair out. So don't freak out. I obviously filmed this when my hair was at its worst, just because I think that's the best hair for when you have a beret. So just go with it, okay? So let's get into the video. I'm just going to give my roots a quick spritz with some Batiste dry shampoo. Obviously, this is what you do in hair tutorials, right? When you're showing a product. So I'm going to give my roots a quick spritz with this just because they are quite greasy. Oh, watch the eyes and the mouth there. Now I'm going to work my fingers through my roots just to try and get any of the white kind of residue that's left off my roots and my hair. My hair is probably about five or six days old here from its last wash. I think this is the hair that kind of works best for me when I'm using a beret. Um, I will probably wash it the day after this video. So beret number one. Now this beret is a little bit tighter than most of the other ones that I have in this video, so it doesn't really fit my head as much as I would like to. But here I just wanted to show you that you can wear the beret um, several different ways. You could either wear it more onto your forehead and with the cap either pulled front or pulled to the back. You can wear it off your head a little bit. I just pulled my fringe out here but you can also wear it more to the side with the front cap pulled forward and to the side as well. This hairstyle is obviously just to show you how to wear a beret and that there are different ways of styling it on your head with just purely wearing your hair down. Number two. So I'm gonna section the first part of my hair here into a fringe area and use the bumper bang to create a bumper bang fringe. So I'm rolling it here and I'm just popping two clips on the side. You can then spread the hair out just to the sides. I probably put a little bit of hairspray on and then when you pop the beret on just make sure that you clip either side of the beret just so that it stays on a little bit better this beret is a woolly one so obviously it moves around a lot more than others which is why i just like to make sure it's super secure and won't go anywhere if it's a little bit windy number three so I'm just gathering my hair into a ponytail and then I'm twisting it into a kind of a messy bun. I'm just going to clip it, but you can obviously use a bobble, however you want to make sure it's secure. And then I'm going to pop the beret onto the back of my head. Attach the sparkly bow onto the side just to give it something extra. You could just clip it with a curvy grip 
Obviously this is super messy and really low maintenance. Number four, I'm just parting a side fringe there with my tail comb. And then I've plaited the rest of it. I like to use my mouth as a handy way to store my fringe whilst I'm obviously styling my hair. But I'm just pulling the plait out. I really like a messy plait when I'm doing a side plait and fringe kind of look. And then I've pinned my fringe to the back. It doesn't matter if it's on top of your head because the beret is gonna cover it, as you can see. You can also just shape out the beret depending on what kind of look you want. Like sometimes I just play around with it on my head to see kind of what shape I would like today. Any loose struggles, you can just put them away with a Kirby grip. This is a really super low maintenance kind of look. Here we are with a pink beret. I'm not that great at plaits and I must just say that my camera stopped recording during this look, which is obviously a pain, but basically this is milk braids and all I have done as you will see, is braid both sides of the hair and put them onto my head. Here is my despair face when I realized I had stopped filming. I've used Kirby grips just to pin those two plaits onto my head and then popped a beret on the back. Now, I attempt to kind of try and show you in a reversed backwards motion as to what I did. Obviously, it doesn't go as well as I intended, so apologies for that. This is the basis of a look. It's basically just two pigtails that don't look that bad. <laughs> and you just pin them to your head and put a beret on the top. Cross them over, pin them. Halfway through, guys. That is five looks, five. Like. Did you even ever imagine you could wear your hair so many different ways with a beret, huh? I want to know which one is your favourite, so leave me a comment below. A yellow beret, hooray. Sorry that this is the same colour as my background. I obviously realised that after I'd filmed. Basically what I've done here is pop my hair into a really high, super high ponytail and I've just given it a bit of a plait. And then I'm just gonna arrange it really on my head. I'm gonna have a little sing because I'm listening to music. I'm gonna pin it to the front part of my head and then pop a beret on. This is very similar to a like Dita plait bun. Obviously, if you have more time, then you can probably do a better plait than this. I have just literally whacked it up, pinned it to the front of my head and popped a beret on. For the next look, I'm just gonna section this fringe pop it out of the way while I plait my hair into two pigtails. Long, I'm losing the will to live when I'm plaiting my hair. Next, I'm gonna pop the beret on to the back and the fringe is gonna get curled like magic. And then all I'm gonna do is loosely arrange these curls to sit at the front of my head and pin them. If you need to push your beret slightly backwards to fit the curls on, then you could do. Don't freak out. I know this is like crazy curls, but it's just an overall curled look. Obviously, if you have more time, then you can make sure that the curls are perfectly placed. But I am going to use one of my tricks. Here it is, the hairnet. So I like to use hairnets because basically they just tie everything together and make sure that things don't move. Perfect for the school run or if it's windy. And the curls kind of look a little bit better here, even though they looked crazy before. I'm just pinning the sides and voila, you are done. Instead of having plaits, you could just pop the rest of the hair up into a faux poodle 
again with the cheeky hair net just to pin everything in place and make sure it stays also i like that it just looks a little bit better i think when you put a hair net on and you can really kind of play around with the curls rather than them coming apart i pop the beret on the back and then i would use some clips just to make sure that it's secure and there you have it Okay, my hair's getting obviously raggedy by now. So I decided it was time to just backcomb it. Now I'm getting a little bit of Nurse Ratched vibes here. If you haven't watched that video yet, I will pop a link on the screen. But basically I'm going for two front poofs. I've backcombed them and then I'm just twisting them and then pushing the twist forward so that it makes a poof. And then I'm just popping a clip in either side. This is kind of like a fake victory roll, I guess. You could take more time here, but I was rushing and trying to get my phone to film it. You could definitely take more time here to do it a bit more perfectly, but these are quick and easy. They're not supposed to be perfect. They're just supposed to be a nod to the right direction. I'm just arranging it here. You could obviously take as much time as you need. And then I've popped the beret on the back and I'm just clipping it in place to make sure it doesn't move. Now I love a little bit of volume, so this style is perfect for me. You could obviously take more time and do a victory roll at the front if you wanted. I've just gathered the back part of my hair and I'm just tucking it underneath and just popping a few clips in there, although you don't really need to pop a few clips in there if your hair's not as long as mine. Then taking a hairnet. Now obviously you could do this with a snood perhaps, but I don't have one, I don't really wear them, so I've improvised and used a hairnet. This will help keep everything in place and it's the reason why you won't need to clip it in place as much because the snood or the hairnet just simply like tucks all the hair perfectly. Again, give it a spritz of hairspray, maybe take a bit more time on your front poofs, but this is a super quick easy look. Number 10, my hair is on its last legs. I'm so sorry, it looks very raggedy. So I've sectioned my hair and just rolling it underneath for the suicide roll with my fingers. This is a very rough way to do it. Obviously you can take more time, you can use certain tools. This is just the way that I do it because my hair is super long. However, if yours is shorter, it's probably not gonna be as easy as this. I love a super huge suicide roll. So this is perfect for me. I've taken my hair, popped it in a ponytail, and I'm just using a donut to wrap it round and make a massive great big bun on the side of my head. You could use a smaller one, I just really like a huge one, but that's because I have a lot of hair. And I'm just going to pin it in place here. Another thing that I probably would do that I haven't done in this video is I would stick a hairnet over the bun just so that it's a little bit less frizzy and everything's tucked in place. I've also added a giant hair flower because, well, I didn't think that this was extra enough, quite obviously. And there you have it. whole ways to style your hair with a beret. There you have 10 whole ways to style your hair with a beret, this season's favourite hat. Now you can find berets in a number of places, the high street always has them every single year. Now if you try any of these styles, I mean any of them, or you have better ones, or you just put your own little twist on maybe one of the styles, I would love to know. You guys know I don't pretend to be a vintage hair grandmaster, I am simply someone who has long hair, a bit unruly, I'm just trying to tame it and get on with my day-to-day -day life, okay? So I don't need a disclaimer, you know, you know the drill, okay? You've been watching for a couple of months now, you guys know. 
this is just how I do my own hair. However, if you do happen to try any of these and love them, I would love to know. So definitely get in touch and leave me a comment. Those of you who have been loving my wardrobe or just simply want to have a look at the bargains I have on offer, well, I have a shop. Mm -hmm, a shop. Okay, I've had my shop for a while now. It's actually on Depop. I sell vintage and secondhand stuff and pre-loved and sometimes a bit of high street um, in there as well. If you are looking for a bargain or you just love vintage shopping, well, I'll pop the link in the description box below. Please take a look and let me know what you think. Those things obviously are my size because it's clothes that I have generally worn myself. However, I do have a little bit of vintage stock in there as well. So definitely go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I really appreciate your time and thank Thank you so much for being here with me on another episode of A vintage Life. I feel like I need a theme tune. Do I need a theme tune? Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Tune in next Friday when we are getting a little bit festive. Don't like Christmas. These next few videos probably will be very disappointing. That's all I'm going to say. Bye.